Hello, my name's Will, and I talk a lot around staff safety, and that's what we do. We help organisations reduce risks from any form of workplace violence, whether that's dealing with personal safety, loan working, conflict management, or dealing with aggressive or even challenging behaviour at times. Now, I also get a lot of requests. I get some requests from people that are outside the remit of my skill set. Like, Michael, you know who you are. I don't do cocktails. Anyway, what I usually get as well is a lot of requests around information about, shall we say, devices or ideas about how we can promote staff safety with basically cost-effective measures. And one of them is what I talk about is to do with the iPhone. And uh, obviously Android phones, but iPhone particularly as well, because that's what a lot of my clients have actually have their staff carry. So what I did was I put a little video together on the emergency SOS, and uh, hopefully you'll appreciate it. Let's take a look. So I want to talk about the emergency SOS on your phone, and in particular the iPhone. Now, there's a built-in feature into the phone that you don't have to open up your phone to call 999 or slide or anything like that, i.e. enter your passcode. Now what it is, it's your power button. And if you rapidly hit your power button, approximately five times, it rings the emergency services. Now you would have heard a siren there. I'm going to come back to the siren in a bit. Now, it will connect you directly to the emergency services. Then you can obviously talk to them about what your emergency is. What it also does is it locks you out the phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enter in my password and basically go through what the feature is. So what I get my clients to do, or I get my attendees on courses, I get them to go to their settings. I then get them to scroll down to emergency SOS, and then I get them to go through the features. So firstly, we've got a lovely diagram here that basically points out if you hold the power button and the volume button together, as I'll show you in a bit, what it basically does is it informs the emergency services about your contact details or your medical conditions. Also gives you the option, shall I say, to ring the emergency services instead of using the rapid five and that's what this basically says here it talks about do you want to use the slide effect or do you want to use the, uh, the five also gives you the option of calling the emergency services direct which i say keeping uh, shall we say situ because that's what you want to do this is what it's designed for you then have your set up your emergency contacts in health you press that and then you have all your details all your medical de details there inclusive if shall we say um, you have anything you're allergic to if you hit the edit button, it gives you more information that you want to scroll down. I've taken a lot of mine out because it's personal. You also have emergency contacts. So you would put in there things like uh, colleagues um, or your loved ones or your next of kin or whoever that might be. You also got it so you can show when locked as well. So you've got information there that you can add into the system of the phone that helps the emergency services or even a bystander if they know what they're doing to access, shall we say, people that you require assistance from. Also has at the bottom the delete the uh, medical ID if you so wish. So we've got loads of features there that help you, your, like I said, your, your size, your weight, your blood, anything like that. Now this is basically all designed in the sense of, well, how can it help you in the future? So again, look through the settings, there's your emergency and there's all your details there. Now this here on the bottom of the emergency SOS, if you remember when I activated it before, you heard a siren. Now, what the siren's designed to do in certain cases is to alert people that you are in some form of distress or you might scare away somebody or something like that if you want to use it as a like a, an alarm type status. Yeah, okay, it depends on the volume, etc. and the type of phone that you've got. One thing that I've got a lot from my clients is a lot of them mute that. And why they mute this here is because if they're under duress, say they're in a situation where they feel threatened or someone could possibly carry out some form of physical assault on them. If they rapidly hit the uh, five times the power button on the side, it rings the emergency services and the emergency call handler will listen. And if they hear any types of violent voices or aggressive natures or they hear, shall we say, coughing or they hear rapid banging on the phone, which is a tapping effect as we call it, they will pass it through to, shall we say, the police. And then obviously that's when the police have to go into the system of understanding what's going on and investigating. So we call it a bit of a duress code. Uh, some people say you shouldn't take it off. Some people say you do. I always say it depends on the level of risk and the environment that you're in. Now, what was I saying before about, well, the whole system? In the sense of the slide button. 
So let's lock the phone out, as we can see. Now, what I said before was, if you hold the power button and you hold, shall we say, the volume button, irrespective of which one, what happens is it opens up your medical information and emergency information. Now, there is a point that states that in the event of you having to activate this or use it in any manner, the uh, emergency contacts of yours are also notified. I've had both yes it works and no it doesn't work in, in shall we say for many of our clients and people I deal with. What I always say is it depends how the phone was set up. And all I'm asking you to do is spend just a couple of minutes, simple enough, get your phone out, go to your settings, scroll down to emergency SOS, see what features you can put in, i.e. your personal details, see what medical conditions you might have that you would think that you would like people to know, and also then obviously more importantly put in your emergency contacts. If you're on an Android phone, it's similar effect as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope it's helpful. So I hope that video was of help, okay? Get in touch if you need any more information, but trust me, there's loads of people on the internet, on YouTube, that have made far better videos than what I make, and I always encourage other people to look at other videos to get a different interpretation or a different uh, idea of how to use certain equipment or do certain things. So, finally... Can you all please at least look at our social media, join us on LinkedIn on our Quell training page or basically subscribe to our channel because the more people we get, it encourages me, particularly within the company, to actually do more videos for people. Thank you for watching. Stay safe what you're doing and bye for now.